more than 4,300 Russian troops are ready to voluntarily surrender to Ukrainian forces, a spokesperson has claimed. Vitaly Madvienko, who heads up a project which provides information on how Russian troops can surrender, told the Ukrainian network Freedom TV that many have also submitted relevant appeals within the so-called I Want to Live framework. He said, there are more than 4,300 requests since the start of the project I Want to Live and at the moment. Basically, these are Russian servicemen or mobilized who are interested in how to surrender. Or they are those who have already decided to surrender, and we communicate with them, carry out all the necessary work. Madvienko also stressed that Kiev guarantees full security of all conversations and correspondence with Russian prisoners of war. He added, in order to protect them in the future after they can be exchanged for Ukrainian servicemen, we register them as those who were captured during the battle. Thus, it guarantees them all social benefits. The I Want to Live project was launched in September in a bid to help Kremlin-supported servicemen surrender during Moscow's invasion. The number of Russian soldiers searching how to surrender on the internet has also doubled in the last month. More than 70,000 searches have been completed in a period which coincides with the arrival of conscripted troops, the Mirror has revealed. A new Freedom of Russia Legion has also been formed to provide demoralized soldiers with an alternative after turning their backs on Putin. The news comes after the UK's Ministry of Defense, MOD, revealed that Belarus has carried out a snap combat readiness inspection on its own troops. In an intelligence update, the MOD said, the exercises are reportedly taking place in the northwest of the country, away from the Ukrainian border. 